and welcome back, Dark and Ran and Mass Effect 3. Hello! Last time we finally finished the Omega DLC, and boy yep. was that painful to do for me. Uh, yep. I only did that DLC like once before, I don't remember it being that hard. At least that <laughs> last fight. Oof. Maybe it's easier as a soldier, because that's usually what I'm playing as. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you just need to, you know, get cool. Ran. Don't even go there. <laughs> Too late. <sighs> we can dock an Omega now. I'm I we can. I guess it's time to explore a bit. Yup. So what do you think it? Uh, can they consider stuff? This looks like it's a scene from the previous game, though. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I, yeah, I'm trying to. I, I was trying to eye to Normandy. No, those are that's a blue streak on her. Hmm. Uh, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. I have permission to go in there. Of course, whatever she wants. Yeah, this was definitely put together. You saw it? That's impressive, then. <laughs> this looks bad. Agreed. We should be careful. This atmosphere is toxic. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot. They deserve better. Yeah. Something on your mind? Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying, the strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. No matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. You're probably right. Doesn't feel much better, though. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Right. But not till we've all had a stiff drink. Hmm. Okay, then. Like from the quality of the voices, you can kind of tell it's modded, but that's still impressive. Yeah. Well, let's see what else there is lying around. Harrison Forum got anything new? Yes, in fact. Yeah, some stuff. Donation to a <coughs> new couch. The power converters, server access codes. Basically, I guess, is a way to finish those quests if you didn't already. Yeah. Much like we got with the other quests. You can never seem to. F I just noticed the, on the power converters, it says you never can seem to find them anywhere. Hmm. Are you trying to make fun of me for not finding them, game? Hey, can I just take. These, like all of them, and that hmm. would be nice. Okay, this motherfucker doesn't shut up. I'm about to throw him down this hole. Tank grown, huh? You hmm. are different. You, you don't smell like this world, but you, something makes me speak. What are you doing out here on Omega? I wait. It comes. I feel it. An itch from the voice. But for now, I wait. Okir's voice? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. I called it Father. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. And now I am here. We could really use your help out there. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I must wait until called. Released. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. Survive, resist. If they come, I fight. 
but I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. Are there many more of you? Behind many of you fleshy things, but not here. I will show you. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. That was a very convoluted conversation. But it yeah. got but it got us something. Yeah. Thank you, Brad Clan. I guess they decided to stick together. So it seems. News new lost Krogan dies a hero, throwing himself against the entire service unit while trying to reach his mate. Lost Krogan by the name of Ruck was found dead after the uprising amid a corpses of twenty soldiers. Young Krogus perished trying to reach a radio in order to contact his Asari mate. His mate and Asari commando blamed a lack of manpower and technical expertise, which meant lib the liberating forces couldn't get to him in time. Ruck was a hero, a stupid hero. And I'll never forget him. Ruck. Oh. Please answer me. Oh. That just makes me sad, man. I didn't come here to get sad. Yeah. Speaking of which. Dedicated to the Nareen Kandros and all those who lost their lives in the Omega Uprising. They laid down their lives for the freedom of the citizens of Omega. Though death divides us, their sacrifice shall cling to our memory. You will not be forgotten. Oh, indeed. Never thought you'd feel bad for a station that's mostly full of scum. Right. But here we are. Do we have a map, by the way? We do. Yeah, but... We'll be complex one at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it says Captain Gavorn. Oh, yeah, Captain Gavorn is over here. I recognize him. Huh. Can we get into Afterlife? Is it about to find out? Can. Okay, sudden loading screen. Uh. Mm -hmm. Um. Tally, Edie, what is going on, Joker? What's going on here? Guess they're having fun. Okay, Tally, work it. I mean, I don't hate the side. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm more laughing more about Edie. Uh, she's dancing the robot. <laughs> she's doing the robot. <laughs> <laughs> and plenty of people doing the shepherd shuffle around here. Of course. I mean, we did just send up. We did just send sa uh, saving them, so. Yeah. Oh, cool. I can change clothes. Cool. Looked a little awkward just, you know, wearing full body armor out here. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, thanks, I guess. <laughs> James, <laughs> still losing at poker. <laughs> I, uh... I don't think he's good at the poker face thing. No, I don't think so either. You gotta appreciate the amount of effort modders put into all of this. Yeah, that's impressive. I okay, was always surprised when they gave us that entire mission, but this is even more surprising. Yeah. Hi again, Shepard. And How are you holding up? Chris? Hello there. Thanks. I'm fine. How do you think Liara's doing? As the new Shadow Bro? Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. Take it easy, Baron. Thanks. Do you remember him? 
Yeah. I did not expect to see him here. Nah, but she's basically the R's right hand. Yeah? According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. These discoveries must be the key I've been searching for. Clues to point us at more Prothean technology. Perhaps we will find more answers at the excavation site. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Bay. Hmm, you don't say. Hmm. But we didn't get a journal for that, so... Uh... Um... Um... Are you okay, buddy? What bothers me? Is that. With the... What? Like, 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 you see the head? Yeah, with the right angle, it seems like the head is... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it doesn't just seem like it disappeared, it just unloads. Don't send the carriers. Oh, hey. Well... You're still alive. Why is this? Can't use batarians to shake more money on humans. Too much bad blood. Someone always gets gutted. Send one of your right. salarians instead. It's safer. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. Ah. I see Javik <laughs> is swapping stories with the other oldest guy in the room. Yeah? Well, at least he found some way to unwind. Yeah? Sure. So what did Bray say? Nothing and repeat to polite company. Oh, wait. I could totally repeat it to you, right? Shut up. <laughs> Not wrong. Apparently, Arya too busy to be here herself. So it seems. <coughs> you were right about the Cerberus finding your supply caches. All the food stocks you have tucked away are gone to the winds. We're good on water, and that's about it. It looks like we could turn the server supplies back towards the people, but we don't have a long supply line. What should we do with it? Divert supplies from the docks. Just maintain the image that we have plenty. Let the supply caches be known about. Empty or not, Omega will have its due. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Never screw with Arya. All you're doing is asking for a world of pain. And she'll be I mean, the least the role of Omega. Yeah? Oh, cool. New power. Cool. Commander. They probably never do it, but you know. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. What are you doing on the Citadel? <laughs> Since we talked, uh. <coughs> I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I th uh, that's definitely part of the main game. I guess you can talk to her uh, from here instead of going to the show, like, though. Yeah, that's why she's the hologram. <laughs> yeah. There's the rebuilding going on Omega. People understand the first order of business is showing up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. What exactly have I applied? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had to perform, I'm sure. Correct. Sorry, boss, cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Sun's back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine, idiot. But he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge? Where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The blood pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? 
A ton of mechs. And elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more mouth than Jonas Adair's ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. You're welcome. Oh, wait. I'm sure. I'd say that turned out all right. <laughs> What's this Vorchard shepherd shuffling though? <laughs> it's like at least Talia knows how to dance. Oh, that's Kenny and Kenny and Gabby. Yeah, why do they have to stop? So long he gets the press when he drinks. You know more than usual. Yeah. I well, guess he wants to just let go all the pressure from the water or something. Yeah, Can't really blame just, him. I mean, sometimes you just gotta let it all out. Yeah. Especially in a situation like this. Oh, I'm gonna throw you out this fucking window in a minute. Yeah, we need to find the, the engineer or whatever for the wires, I think. What? So how long are we waiting? Yeah, I guess it's just busted. Yeah, it's just busted. Okay then. Uh, aren't we gonna deliver the... Okay. Deliver the what? The other things we bought from the console? I mean, I didn't see it uh, in any other interact points to deliver with. Mm. Oh well. Mm, 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 Nice to wait another little visit. Hmm. We have guests. So we do. I want to talk to them. Mm, I don't feel like they'll have much to say. Do you ever feel awkward? Okay. I mean, not wrong. Yeah. That's a lot of upgrades. Yeah. And there's none to purchase. Shit's huh. as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. At least until, until we like unlock more or something. Good to see you. Nothing to say. So I see. Well, I reckon there's some stuff around the galaxy we need to be doing now. Yeah, probably. So let's take a look. Oopsie daisy. Indeed, there is some stuff to do. Investigate dig site.
land. Oh no. Oh my. I'm gonna back out of that because I'm I am not jumping into that yet. I'm not ready for more sure? pain yet. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm afraid it might be another one of those missions. Like the like the mod ones? Yeah. I don't know. For obvious Sounds reasons. like fun. There's something down here I need to do. There is? Yes. See, we, right now, my bonus power is slam, but you haven't really been seeing me use it much. Correct. Because it's not really my fa favorite power here. I now have my favorite power. Is it not freeze? No. <laughs> Twit. Slash. I mean, it was the last one you unlocked. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't purchase lash. I wonder, does she get added to the list? Doesn't look like it. She's not one of us. Oh. Nope, she's not one of us. I would have counted her. And again, she's got her own memorial, so... <coughs> Actually, let me check what the journal says about this. Is this even a pop-up in the journal? Hey, Hades Nexus. <laughs> I think we're in the Hades Nexus. Oh, so that was... A quest about the tank red can. Maybe we do have to talk to them. There was? There was. Solitary Krogan was encountered on Omega. How he managed to complete his epic journey from Corliss remains a mystery. He appeared to think it was an opportunity to find a purpose, a purpose that led him to join the fight against the Reapers. The Krogan mentioned his clan of warriors, all tank red. Reunite the soldier with his clan so he can persuade them to join the fight. But where? Well, maybe we need to talk to him to find out. And yeah, I guess we do need to wander back to Omega and give him some power converters. I can never find those things. Seriously. This is Hades Nexus, I think. Well, whatever we're here for, it's probably going to suck. Probably. And yes, I'm, I am pretty sure it was Hades. <laughs> yeah, this is not familiar to me. Oh my. I'm not pulling weapons either. This is Not definitely mod-made. I am okay with this. I am scared. I am okay with this. Shut up. <laughs> is this... Shall I wrap you up in fluff? Shush. Clever use of assets. Isn't this where we fought the corrupted Ragnar? Yeah, clever use of assets. Plus an asset from previous games. Hmm. Very clever. Random Cerberus generator in the middle of all this. To those unlucky enough to follow, evacuating this rock is the best thing I've done in years. This dig was utter shambles. And you'll need all the luck you can get to get it running again. Let's assume you've already reactivated the atmospheric shield. 
To get the elevator online, you need to reactivate three portable generators. You'll find these under the data pad, in the lab, and in the director's office. Oh, and one more thing. Be sure to check out the vault up by the landing site. There's some cracking items in there. Good luck, Sergeant Siler. Get them. By the landing pad. So, back up where we were. I would assume. Probably. Okay, that I can open up. Okay then. There's a generator. What do we got here? <clears throat> yep, ob obelisk cars. Uh, the protein console we recovered is really quite amazing, <coughs> but it pales beside the inscriptions we've taken from the obelisk Carza. At first we thought they were words, just gibberish we couldn't understand. But they aren't. They're calculations, measurements, technical data, written in an alien variant of base 8 math. Base 8 math. The proteins only had four digits on their hands. This will revolutionize our perception of protein science, but provides a few unwanted variables. By crunching the numbers, we're given an intergalactic representation of space-time. Which is nonsense by itself. What is its purpose? Why leave it behind? <clears throat> we need to activate the data core. But to do that, we need to be protheans. I fear we'll never truly understand the purpose of the artifact. But I may be able to reroute the control interface. Hmm. Well, there's one of, there's another one of the other generators. What? Okay. I guess someone had a Krogan mate. I guess so. Oh, wait. Wait, this is... Uh, was this a Cerberus? No. Blaze? Okay. It's still locked up. Sometimes the clever use of assets is a bit confusing. Oh, now that one is available. Yup. Employees, I've noticed many of you whispering and scheming around the water coolers of late, and this morning I find a mountain of bug reports on my OSD. One from each of you about the elevator power system. I set up the elevator myself. I know it works. I'll have you know I've tested it and there are no bugs to be found. None. It is perfect. The errors you claim to have, the inefficiency, and dare I say it, the incompetence is entirely down to you. Stop whining and get back to work. I don't think that didn't work very well. Don't tell me, people don't like him. Mm -hmm. Is it open now? Yep. Okay then. Hmm. That's. I mean, it's a protein statue. Indeed. And whatever this is. I don't see any pretty cracking items though. Hmm. Oh well. Money is money. Yep. Very much a very creative use of assets. Mm -hmm. Anything behind you, by the way, like under the. On the other side? No, I guess That's not. Definitely not. Okay, it kind of looked like you could have passed through, but.
As you approach the obelisk, it reacts to the presence of the Protean Cipher and begins to glow, revealing hidden art holographic symbols and mathematical templates that are far beyond your understanding. Surely, this is the legendary obelisk of Karza that you overheard a researcher discussing on the Citadel. You call in the shuttle. You'll need Cortez's help extracting this from the planet. Th that was it? That was it? <laughs> you got scared for nothing. Listen, you never fucking know. You must be a pretty good... This is a nice little diversion. Yeah. Oh. Shit. That was very time sensitive. Oh. Sorry, Liara. Well, you it's can't. Like, Alright. That counts as the mission. Can't save them all. Yeah, I thought this one was entirely our fault. Oh well, moving on. Okay, run back to Omega and give him his stupid power converters. Ah, my eye. Oh, Alan, I was just... And we just need to find to who. Yeah. Work. Work. One more try. Crap. Damn. Can't get this right. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. We're on my That was it. Yeah, I just want to wait for him to complain. I still want to yeet that Solarian out the window. The one who thought you were a newbie. <laughs> I mean, it's the exact same line a Solarian con man tried to hit you with when you came onto Omega in the second game. Uh, well, we could probably go speak with the tank bread guy right, if you want. But we don't know where he needs to go. Yeah, I figured we should ask him. Uh, I guess that could work. <laughs> if I can remember which keys I'm pushing. Yeah, that might help. Really hard, but hey, it was lion side, didn't know about that list. Technically, all lines we've heard before, but in different orders. Yeah, hmm. I hate that it starts you way down there. Maybe they're still on Corliss. That's an option. But where's Corliss? That's a good question. Let me think. Let me see. It's in the Ego Nebula.
That's a lot of red icons, man. I thought they actually put yeah. more attention to The war march is on. Mm-hmm. Ego Nebula. I found something. Check out the op. Tank for clan. Yay! You got the thing. More Krogan is always useful. Yeah. Well, we may as well go help out over there. Along with investigating all this other stuff. Of course. Tension, deficit, ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, stuff. Stuff and things. What do we have here? Things, probably. The Ceres Guard. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, fuel. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. You know, weren't... Yeah. Do we also need to look at into... Not? Something else? First Fleet Rex, yeah. I got a feeling I know where the First Fleet was destroyed. Hmm. <laughs> Probably defending uh, Arcturus Station. I sort of know where that is. Signal confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> Got here. An L Corp oh. That's probably a song. And the L Corp homeworld itself. Extraction of Dakuna. Journal the code of the ancients. Elcor Troopers, the Kuna Legionnaire. We got a bit out of that. Yeah, that could be useful. Artifact, Code of the Ancient. I feel like we needed that for something. Probably. Let's see. Friendly assets, Alliance 5th Fleet, Full Fleet 2 Dreadnoughts, 36 Cruisers, 3 Carriers, 29 Frigates, Normandy SR2, and N7 Special Forces. Elcor Flotilla, 7 Cruisers, 14 Frigates, 43 Troop Carriers, 4th Army with 8,000 Regulars and 5,000 Irregulars, and 500 Armor Troopers from the Legionnaires. Losses, Alliance. KIA MIA 14%. Eight cruisers, five frigates. Elcor lost 60% of their fleet. Five cruisers, 11 frigates, 12 carriers. And the Elcor army lost 58% of its troops and 47% of the armored units. That's pretty well. Enemy assets 20 capital ships, 40 destroyers. Approximate losses 4%, three destroyers. Oof. A victory, but a costly one. 
Yeah. I mean, overall, Fifth Fleet didn't take too many losses. The Elcor, though. Yeah, the Elcor took a pretty heavy loss. Yeah, and we killed, like, three of the small ones. <laughs> yeah. Like, we basic, basically took out, like, a couple of the ones that we blew up on Rannoch. Hmm. It wasn't too much of a victory. Yeah. What do we have here? <coughs> Asari research ships. Ooh. Alright, now where's the fuel depot? <coughs> there it is. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. It's always what it is. It could at least, like, let us salvage materials or something. Doc is not playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Commander, there may be materials yep. we can salvage in this area. I found something. Really? Is that so, Trainer? Advanced power relays. Hmm. That sounds useful. And fuel. <coughs> oh, we're done here. That's everything in the Cilean Nebula. Yay, progress. Wait, Sion? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we were here not too long ago. That's where Captain Riley is, holding that reactor. Mm. Unless enough. I'm being really fucking retarded. Arcturus Stream. And that should be where First Fleet Wreckage is. We'd have to check, I guess. Confirmed. Lying at L5 Lagrangian point of Themis are the fused metal fragments of Arcturus Station, destroyed by Repo Capital ships. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament and Nerve Center of their military armada. Now it's a cold grave for 45,000 people. Oof. Yep. Let me guess. Fuel? Yeah. What would have thought First Fleet was taken out? Defending mm -hmm. Arcturus Station. Could we within the same system? No, because I just checked the system. But we did still get some intel, so we ought to look into it. That's a hard one. I mean, weapon damage, obviously. You just kill them faster. Mm, you make a good point. Has been updated. Oh boy, what do we have here? <coughs> Decrypted update for Major Michaela Hyde, Second Company AMRU. Operation Purity fulfills success criteria. AMRU platoons are able to locate, identify, and mark for orbital strikes Reaper elements on Elysium. A joint Turian Alliance fleet engaged the Reapers and was able to briefly open a window that allowed the extraction of missing pilots and some civilians. Hunter platoon fulfilled their primary objective for identifying damaged Reaper vessels, post contact with elements of Alliance 7th Fleet, for long range bombardment. Hunter Platoon also fulfilled secondary criteria of successfully evacuating downed Allied pilots, despite high casualty rate. Hunter 2 remains MIA with the expectation of the team is a KIA. Recovered pilots suggest the team return to the ruins of Illyria to make a final run to contest local resistance about finding other pilots. A Sovereign-class Reaper made landfall shortly after they departed a large number of husks were spotted converging near their last known location. 
Hunter 3 remains MIA. Communications log indicates that they have successfully been extracted by SSV Angelut before Reaper counterattack forces, forces allied forces retreat. Forced allied forces to retreat. Wow, that's bad. The <laughs> ship has subsequently missed rendezvous at both primary and secondary recovery zones within the Petra Nebula with no further contact received. Recommended after 72 hours of no contact for status to be altered to KIA. Operation Revenchist will proceed as planned. Surviving personnel of Hunter 1 are to be integrated into remaining reconnaissance platoons within Alliance Navy. Big oof, but... Yep. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pardon. In the meanwhile, God, this fucking galaxy's gotten a little crowded. I guess we have some delivery runs to make. Again. Yeah, you know, the usual. I guess we will technically need to meet with the Asari. No, we don't. That's story. Ah, we don't need yeah, to do that. Probably, yeah. We should probably avoid the main story. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? <laughs> It'll be there momentarily. I think that's where I need to go. I don't know. Well, hopefully you got there, right? I just pick a place. Yep, over in the courtyard. Where in the courtyard? Uh. Oh. I don't even remember what they look like. There's the Geth with some people not happy about it. Here you are. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. You have? It's amazing! Thank you, Commander. Okay, maybe that's not a mod. Hmm. Uh, that or they somehow got uh, Mark Mir to voice that. Uh -huh. I mean, it's possible. Let me yeah, I, mean, they, I don't remember that at all. I mean, they could have just, like, staged audio or something. Maybe. I don't um. know. Is anything else? VIP entrance, Angry Elcor. Oh boy. Oh my. An ambassador in the. Im oh, right, we don't need. To wait. Hmm, that is interesting. Yeah, it sounds like we should probably check some of those things out. There's an Elcor. Oh, hey. Yeah, kind of convenient there. We got your people off to Kuna, Ambassador. 
utterly sincere. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. This is not a debt we can repay. Were you able to evacuate any civilians? Yes. How many? Not enough. Uh, yeah, I get it, man. I get it. I mean, he didn't even preface it with emotion. Yeah. Didn't need to. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but you know what shit's bad? When the Elcor forget to... It's like, there's no the emotional descriptor to feed these words. <coughs> yeah. Pain. Peco. Okay, well... I think... Oh my god, stop putting me at the bottom of my list. Mm, don't know where they are. Don't know where that thing is. You know, if I remember correctly, there's actually there's actually a mission, uh, a side mission in a uh, the last game where you actually board that ship while it's uh, stricken and save it. Mm. <sighs> Glad to see they were paying that debt well. Working for Cerberus. Not sure where to find one of those. I know where that is. But we haven't got there yet. Don't know about that. We're not gonna do that yet. Not gonna do that yet. So I'm not sure what that is. We can go find that somewhere else. So I guess we'll go meet Dr. Bryson. Oh, okay. Go ahead and get to work on the next DLC. Fair enough, I guess. So I guess it's probably a bit too late to actually get started on that directly. It's okay, it's a bit more complex than Omega was. And update the map. They contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. I'm Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, did you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? And the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist. I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. You gotta put the Sylvia board over there. If we can <laughs> just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now, with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness. Breached. Friends at records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then it was dark, cold, like I was someplace else. And then? I don't know. A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, 
There was a loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you wanna... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't Perhaps. see unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but I swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn off the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper Killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. See if there's anything else around here. That thing's still alive. Yep. Very much so. And apparently does not appreciate getting shocked. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. Well, I don't think there's anything else here. There's a big ass protein relic over there. Eh. Does this tell us where Garnome went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues who is using in his search for Leviathan. Now we search lab for clues. Split up on search for clues. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being an asshole now. I mean, it's a husk. I think. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau is following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. 
Here's the time and date chart for the crime. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter. You may examine the result from the Galaxy Map program. Hello there. Do we even give us some gifts? Yeah, I think it's with them. A piece of sovereign. So, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? <laughs> <laughs> Anything up here? Relevant at the moment. At the moment, huh? <laughs> of course, the thing to remember about dead reapers, as we noticed in the last game, they can still indoctrinate you. Yeah. And now we know why the Batarian's government fell over instantly. <laughs> Looks like data on the rack. Data. You want a cross reference for location? You mean, I thought I did. the search filter to the galaxy map. Again. This does not seem relevant at the moment. The Thorian, remember that? Uh, the big plant. <laughs> oh. A life form discovered on Pharos provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of a truly alien species. Unlike conventionally intelligent life, it does not use mass relays. Protein artifacts were not interested. Commander Shepard claimed that Reaper enemies cultivated life to evolve along lines they could predict, using technology the Reapers controlled. The Thorian is an exception to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must somehow be similar to, the, to have un survived undetected for so long. The Thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims using them as manual labor, or even as a man would use his own hands and fingers. Commander Shepard claims that reapers do the same thing, though in a different process called indoctrination. Whatever Leviathan is, it must do something similar. Mm. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. You don't see like that. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. E, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Okay. <coughs> Meteorite set. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need ESO? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. 
Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding it now. Oh, I'll take that too. It's probably useful, maybe? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. Interesting and <laughs> Interesting and non-existent. Alright, sarcastic robot. Element zero deposits. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Rachne activity. No, no results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Which one do you think is less relevant? Um, Probably the Rachni one, because there's no mark, no matches. Probably. Five possible systems. All right. Uh, what about the pathway? The what? The uh, calculated path. I don't think that was a, a search filter. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, blackout crimes, creature sightings. Probably blackout. Blackout crimes. No match. Never no mind. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. All right, let's go with creature Five sightings. Five possible systems. Alien sightings. Three matches. Three possibilities. Hmm. hmm. What if you instead disable the... The ESO one? Yeah. Five possible systems. And try and enable oh. some of the other ones I was going to say. What do you think is the other two didn't, didn't mark any systems that were on on, on it. Mm -hmm. Like it needs to be one of those systems that's marked already. The other two didn't match up for any of them. Black I think. Crimes. Nope. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Oh uh, yeah, and the path is the creature sightings one. Oh. Um. So maybe yeah, we're missing this. something. Maybe. Let's look around again. Hello. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns can be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands, it won't. The data is encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart. What the hell does that mean? It means you should probably check his body. The body that's not there? Ah, shit. I mean, there was something else to check. There was something. Nope. No, like in where you found the video, no? Yeah, the data. What could what else could close to the heart mean? Hmm. No ideas. Mm, not really. Maybe something that matters to the heart. Oh, by Anne Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Anne is now twenty-eight. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... art. <laughs> Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. 
I'll take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. Now we just need to find the pad with the encrypted data. Which we already know what it is. I mean, the ED dimension, it does not appear to be relevant right now. Yeah, I just kind of blanked out on it <laughs> once it was actually relevant. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Gardo used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Alright then. Let's search by Reaper activity. Reaper activity? One match. We have yep. a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garno. Hey, would you look at that? Achievement unlocked. Conspiracy theorist. <laughs> we just Pepe Sylvie at it. Apparently. Pays to be thorough. Yep. You know, there's only one car. How did Edie get here? No. Maybe she took a taxi. Either way, that's probably a good time to call well, it. Considering the next is going to be a, sh a shooting mission? Definitely. Yeah. So, next time we're going to be hunting research scientists and hopefully them not dropping dead when we get to them. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, see you next time. Bye bye.